My mic is on. My mic's on. We are back tonight, back. ladies and gentlemen. How are we night doing, two. Mr. D? Doing well, doing well. We had a good night last night. We're ready we did. to pick right up where we left off. We absolutely, we had a fabulous night last night. We raised $5,600 and $5,650 uh, $5, from the phone booth alone. All pledges. And the uh, all pledges and the call center is already up and active. We can see some people on the phones dialing out. Feel free to dial in. What do we got? Well, uh, we were talking about it last night. It might be easier uh, if you're trying to access some of the auction items. It might be easier to go through the website. Uh, and we, we talked about it. We know that everything's scrolling by. But it might be easier uh, on methuenscholarship.org slash telethon. Uh, it might be easier to access the list and, and pick on the list and bid on everything. Because uh, yep. there's, there's a lot of great stuff on there. Uh, but it's, we were talking about uh, reading off the, uh, the other websites and stuff like that. So uh, methuenscholarship.org slash telethon is, is probably the way to go with auction items. Uh, the two phone lines, 6080, 6081. Yep, uh, we have, there. We have PayPal. We have Venmo. Any way that you can, uh, that you can bid, uh, that, that money coming in is going uh, right back to our students. Our, our seniors are going to reap the benefits here. So we're just trying to plug the, the pledges for tonight. And last night we did really, really well. A uh, bunch of sponsors uh, that, that sponsored yep. this weekend. Um, any of, the, any of the bids that come in, too, we didn't really mention it too much last night, but uh, as the bids come in uh, and as the, uh, the pledges come in, you can pledge anything. You can donate anything. Uh, a lot of people are donating amounts, 25s, 50s, things like that. Yeah, we didn't mention that yeah. last night. You can I mean, feel free to donate whatever you want. Donate, We'd be anything. more than happy to. These guys are going to give you a shout-out when we walk over there. We'd love to totally. have you donate whatever it is that you are comfortable with. And, and any way we look at it, the students that are here tonight and students from Methu and I say thank you in advance for every donation you make. Yeah, they're appreciative, very. So uh, the most that we can do for them is, is right. the best we can do, you know. So everybody. Kick One kick. thing I wanted to mention, when you go to the uh, Methuen Scholarship, you know, the Methuen Scholarship Foundation is an organization. And in a minute, we're going to have uh, Mr. Barden is going to come up and talk about the organization and thank our members. But at MethuenScholarship.org, you get an opportunity to look and review and see all the amazing things that are going on. And one thing coming up in the future is um, a music bingo night on May 4th. Yes, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> may the 4th. Uh, by Star the Wars one night. and only, it's a music bingo, the one and only DJ Edna. Everything awesome. I've heard That's about great. DJ Edna Incredible is. Incredible time. It's right? a great time. Blast. So if you're looking for a fun night out, it's $30 a ticket. Methuen Scholarship Foundation. Take a look. Buy your ticket. So I that, think I think we bring that up would Mr. be a blast. Yeah, I, I think it's time to bring up uh, one of the head honchos here, uh, Mr. Rich Barden. Come on up. Our school principal. Thank you very much. Excellent. Perfect. Good evening, everyone, and welcome uh, to day two of the Methuen Scholarship Foundation Telethon. So, um, one of the most proud events that we do each year is our telethon, uh, because it goes all of the proceeds raised from the telethon go right back to our students. So. Um, our graduating cl class is quite large. We have uh, over 450 students in our graduating class. So every penny helps our students, and every dollar raised helps our students reach their post-secondary plans. Um, our students go off to two-year schools, four-year schools, uh, certificate programs, the military, uh, the workforce, uh, everything they're doing. Um, we're proud of them, and they're making a great impact, uh, not only in Methuen, and, but uh, not only in the state of Massachusetts, all over the country. Um, so we have a lot of great students doing great things, and every dollar helps, so please continue to contribute. I have a number of folks to thank um, tonight, and I want to make sure that the Methuen Scholarship Foundation gets the recognition that they deserve. Um, we work year-round putting together events to raise as much money as possible. Um, it's every, every event, everything that we organize uh, takes a great deal of time, and um, I want to give a big round of applause uh, to our two co-presidents, uh, Melissa and Sarah Burns, and uh, Lisa Simonian. So thank you, Melissa and Lisa, for all that you do all year uh, to make this event and others 
um, great, and also with a focus on raising as much money as possible. I also want to recognize our uh, Vice President, Paula Simone, our Secretary, uh, Susan Nicholson, co-treasurers, uh, Marsha Ionolfo and Ann Shapiro. Uh, we have, we have a, a number of board members that uh, worked throughout the year as well. Um, Matt Curran, Colleen McCarthy, Laurie Morris, Barbara, Barbara Grondine, David Grondine, Christina Sakowicz, Martha Tatro, uh, Superintendent Brandy Kwong, uh, Bob Vogler, Eliza La Rochelle, and Bertha White, uh, as well as Frankie Madden. So that group of board members works throughout the year to try to put together events uh, that are going to bring in the most money possible um, for our students. So um, a special thank you to all of the board members. Some of our board members have been with us for years. And others are, are new to the group. Uh, if anyone's interested out there in how to become a board member, uh, please reach out. You can email me directly, and I can get your email off to our presidents, and we can add you to the group. So uh, it's a lot of good work. Um, and and we, we, we were at multiple events throughout the year uh, to, to raise money for our students. I also want to recognize um, some of our, our, our larger sponsors who have helped us throughout the years. We have Launch. Bada Bing, Jersey Mike's, and Texas Roadhouse. Uh, for every $50 donation, they're giving back uh, and, and making that worthwhile. So please come on. If you can call in, if you can, if you can make that $50 donation, you can get a lot in return for that. So uh, please take that into consideration. Um, this, this, this telethon is a community effort. Uh, so all of Methuen comes together to make this, this event a success. I want, and, and it wouldn't be possible without, uh, without all those members of our community helping out. Uh, Methuen Community Studios, Michelle Hool is, has been helping us and making sure that everything's broadcast. Um, Brian Wilkins, who works uh, as, a, as a teacher here in our fine arts department, uh, has done a great job with our film and video production program, getting our students. Um, our students do great work, and he leads them uh, and, and, and gets them incorporated as much as possible. So we have the collaboration from the Methuen Community Studios and our film and video production program uh, here tonight, doing great work, making sure that this is publicized and streamed on YouTube. Uh, I also want to recognize um, our amazing MC. So last night and tonight, you'll see a lot of Martha Tatro and Al Delano on the microphone um, in, in celebrating the success of our students and doing everything they can to, to encourage you, you out there to, uh, to, to donate. So uh, Martha's been doing this for years, helping us out. Uh, she's our school counseling uh, department chair, uh, loves Methuen, bleeds blue, and uh, loves bringing as much money as possible as she takes the lead in a lot of our post-secondary planning work through our counseling department. Uh, so we're lucky to have her doing not only this event, but working each and every day to advocate for students and support them. Uh, Al Delano's been uh, with, with, uh, with us for a number of years as well. Um, he's been a science teacher for a number of years, also our uh, athletic trainer. Um, spends countless hours here supporting students, um, giving them opportunities in the classroom and also uh, on the playing fields and in, um, in, uh, and in the gymnasium and different events. So. Um, Al does a great job advocating for students. His own children have gone through the school most recently, uh, and he has a few more coming up to the high school, which we're excited to have. So he's got great passion and great energy, and he wants to raise as much money as possible for all of our students. So thank you, a, a, a tremendous thank you to Al Delano and Martha Tatro, who are giving up their time over the last night and tonight to make sure we bring in as much money as possible. So, um, But with that, let's keep those phones ringing. Let's make sure we bring in as much money as possible. If you're looking for a way to donate, you can go right to the Methuen High School website as well. It's on the home page. You can open up a link, and uh, you can donate money. The, uh, all the information is right there, and you can also call in. So everything you need to access is right there on that page. So let's bring in as much money as possible for our amazing class of 2024. We've got a lot of students who can use a couple bucks to, to, to save for their post-secondary plan. So keep those phones ringing, and thank you so much for all your support. All right. Thank you, Mr. Barden. Thank you, Mr. Um, Barden. It's a pleasure seeing you tonight. Definitely. <laughs> uh, Mr. Barden, uh, class of 94. Ooh. 96. Class of 96. Class of 91. Ranger alumni. Uh, as we kind of look out, we see a bunch of students, parents. Yep. Uh, it's, it's important to understand that everybody is here to help. And everybody's just kind of putting some time in. We saw, if we look over, we see uh, people just flooding in on the phone banks here. Uh, city councilors. Uh, we have former school committee members. Yes. We have parents from the MAIC. Uh, we've got uh, we've boosters. Got one of our boosters. We've got one of our uh, associate principals here. That's also a, a soccer a softball, softball coach. coach. Yep. So uh, and we have a student on the phone. So everybody's chipping in. This is really cool. It is a great event. Um, there's a lot of opportunity for people to get involved. There's a lot of behind the scenes activity going on right now. And I know we've talked. I talked about it last night. 
We have students here running cameras, running the show, um, and they are, we appreciate everything you do. A lot of these students have taken part in our video and film production program here at the high school, and my hope is that they go on and take everything they've learned and take it with them to the next level, but either way, it's thanks to them that we get to stand up here and, and do this tonight. Um, without their ha helping hands, we wouldn't be able to be seen by all of you on TV, correct? Methuen yeah, TV? TV. Uh, YouTube Streaming, channel, YouTube, the streaming right? channel. And it, I think it's great, too. Like, it, we're looking at uh, Mr. Wilkins just kind of sit back and relax. I know. We, we've got students running the show, <laughs> the cameras, the boards, right? It's This is student-driven. It's it's great. It's it's it, terrific. It's great to see it. They, they're just, they're putting in the time. It's He's just kind of, like, watching things happen, man. And Mr. in a, in a job, little Mr. while, in a great. little while, you're going to get to meet some more Methuen High seniors. Uh, we brought some more MCs in tonight. They're going to help us shortly in the call center. And we're going to have them share their story about themselves and about their activities and involvements here at Methuen High and their post-secondary plans. But I think right now, that's a good segue. We've got, um, we've got a video that we want to show. It's uh, a senior bio video. And it is a lot of students that are sharing who they are and what their plans are as well. So we're going to turn that senior bio video on. Yes? Excellent. Yep. And now uh, we'll be back shortly, and we'll head over to the call center when we return. All Thank right, you. See we'll you again. Be back. Uh, my name is Earl Pemberton Jr. I'm a senior at Methuen High School. My plans after high school is to study HVAC. I'm going to Central Maine Community College, committed for basketball. A uh, scholarship would help would help us a lot because we don't have to go into much debt and. There's a lot of smart students in Methuen High School, and I feel like the scholarship will actually benefit a lot of kids in this school. Hi, my name is Darwin. After high school, I'm going to aviation to build engine planes. Uh, my name is Giovanni. Um, I'm from Methuen High School. After high school, I plan to go to Cambridge College for cybersecurity. Uh, this scholarship will help me further my education and research in cybersecurity so I could try to get the highest I can in that field and I think the scholarship would really help me and my family a lot. Uh, my name is Joey Parra and I'm going to the National Aviation Academy and a scholarship would really affect me greatly because um, I would really need the, like, the funds for it to be able to pay for the tools and all the equipment and yeah. Hi, my name is Johan Mateo, and I want to get an aviation scholarship, anything that has to do with planes at all. Um, and if I get this scholarship, it will affect me by improving my life in every way, in every style. Yeah, my name is um, Jose Alicea, and my plan after high school is, you know, establish myself, learn a skill in life. I'm going to go to electrical school. Hi, my name is Giovanni Rodriguez. Um, my plan after high school is um, to go into a trade either electrician or plumbing, things like that. And um, my favorite memory here being in high school would be um, would be uh, with my favorite teacher, uh, Mr. Favro. My name is Aramis Herrera, and I'll be going to school for business. And then after that, it's either I do business or trade, save up money, invest, open up my business, and keep investing. Hi, I'm Tiana Santiago. I'm going to UML to play softball, and my major is nursing. Hi, my name is Ariana Baez. I'm going to Fitchburg State University to play softball, and my major is education. Hi, my name is Ladarius Frida, and I'm going to UMass Lowell undecided. Hi, my name is Julissa Navarez, and I'm going to U Miami. I am doing cheerleading and majoring in athletic training. As a collective, we believe that a scholarship would benefit us because it would relieve the stress from our parents as well as ourselves from debt and from any other problems that we face throughout college. My name is Robert Issa, and after high school, I'm gonna be doing business and finance. I'm gonna be opening up my own business and saving enough money to open something up and start something by myself. My father owns his own business, and by the help of my father and alongside of others, then I'm gonna be able to do my own thing, hopefully. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tori Blanchett. I will be attending the University of Rhode Island in the fall, and I am majoring in communications and sports media. 
I think that the scholarship will help me because it will help me pay off school and help me get along, move farther in my life and just, I think that it will be very helpful to pay off for school. Hello, my name is Andy Cruz Diaz. Um, what I'm about to do when I finish graduating, um, is to go to college that I want to pursue a career of system engineer, which I have a passion for it. And I really am be grateful if a scholarship come to my to me, but the scholarship will help me a lot with my family with, um, to pay less on the, and you know have a tuition. But hope I see what we can do and I don't know. I don't know about that, but but sir if uh, I can help me out. All right. Sir, great stuff, Andy. Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Drew Eason. Uh, I'm going to play football at Stonehill College next year. And I'm going into the medical field, so I know that it will take a lot of schooling and a lot of money. And I think that a scholarship will be able to help me with that by obviously just knowing that the, the uh, what is it, the outcome, the result, the, uh, what I want to say, the medical field. Uh, it will take a lot of money for sure over time. And I know that if I can get a scholarship on my hands, if I can get a little lucky with that, that would be great and it would definitely save a lot of money for me. So I'm going to college next year, play some football, and going into the medical field. Hi, uh, my name is James Levesque. I'm going to play volleyball at Riviera University next year. Uh, I'm going to major in political science, hopefully become a lawyer or a lawmaker one day. Uh, a scholarship would help me a lot because I know that law takes a lot of schooling, like Drew said, it takes a lot of schooling and a lot of money. Um, and I'm not fortunate enough to have a full ride to college like other people, so a scholarship would help me pay for it a lot. My name is Matthew Kovasev, and after high school, I plan on going to college for computer engineering. And I think this scholarship would help me out a lot because, like my friend James over here, I'm not fortunate to have a full ride, and it's a lot of hard classes, a lot of hard work and dedication needs to be put in. So, with the help of a scholarship, it would help me focus on my studies more and get my classes done and hopefully graduate a successful student. Hi, my name is Samantha File. I'm a senior at Methuen High School and I plan to further my academic and athletic basketball career at Southern New Hampshire University. I plan to further my career in health sciences and a scholarship would really help me and my family financially. Hi, my name is Ashley Bowden. I'm a senior at Methuen High and I plan to become a nurse in the future. A scholarship would be incredibly beneficial to my family and I in order to help put me through college. Hi, I'm Ava McKenna, I'm a senior at Methuen. I plan on majoring in business the next four years at college, and a scholarship would really help my family put me and my sisters through college. Hi, my name is Michelle Nguyen, and I'm a senior at Methuen High School. I plan to major in finance after, after high school and get my MBA. A scholarship would help me immensely because I work a lot, and I think that it would take the burden off my parents. Thank you. My name is Cameron Marrera. I'm a senior at Methuen High School. Um, my best memories here is probably playing sports, just a family, I love it. Um, after high school, I want to go to college for computer engineering, and a, a scholarship would definitely help me as the school I'm going to is out of state and pretty expensive, I would say. So, yeah. My name is Roshia Mandu. I'm a senior here at uh, Bethua High School, and I intend after, uh, after high school to go for, into college for computer engineering. And one of my favorite memories here at the high school is probably, um, probably during my uh, outdoor track season. Uh, when it was just it was sunny out and we had an intense workout. It was a crazy workout. Everyone was dead tired right after But because of the vibes, I don't know, it was just, it was just one of my favorite times because even though we were all dead, it was like we were all dead together. And it was end of school, so everyone was kind of in that like happiness moment. Hi, my name is Tonby. My name is Rachel. My name is Isa. And after school, I know I plan to attend a four-year college. I'm not really sure what college yet because I've only heard back from one so far, but wherever I go, I plan to major in marketing and most likely minor in something like a business analytics program. After school, I'm also planning on going to a four-year college and I plan on majoring in biology, but I don't know where I'm going to go yet because I haven't really heard back from many colleges. Um, I'm going to Springfield College and I'm majoring in their dual degree physician's assistant program. Um, so I'm going to be there for six years. I would say my favorite memory from Methuen High is from my sophomore year where it was my friend's birthday and I decided to get him a big cardboard cutout of his face and put it on a stick. And so I brought it in first period 
and then I ripped up the bag so he couldn't put it back in the bag, and then he was forced to carry the big head around school all day. And <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite memory. Um, I would say my favorite teacher is Pags because I had him for two years straight, and sometimes he eats cucumbers around the classroom, which is pretty entertaining for us. <laughs> Um, my favorite teacher is Mr. Scammon. Um, he was just always there for me, and I would always go to his class when I have a free block, and we'd always just chat, and I really appreciated it. Hi, my name is Anthony Danella. I'm planning on majoring in biochemistry and molecular biology, and I want to go to a four-year college. I'm not sure where yet, but I know I want to go to a four-year college. Hi, my name is Brooke Susie. I plan on majoring in nursing at a four-year college. I'm not sure where, but um, I know I want to go to a four-year college. Hi, my name is Chantel Martinez. I also want to go to a four-year college, and I'm planning on majoring in biochem and minoring in English. Um, so I want to give a special shout out to Miss Kenny and Miss Melanson. Um, they really sparked my interest in science, and that's where I found out that I want to major in the sciences, so I'm really grateful for both of them. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Scammon. He really sparked my interest in learning about like humans and like psychology and all the stuff like that. So I want to say thank you to Mr. Scammon for inspiring me going into nursing. I want to give a huge shout out to Mr. Jennings, my favorite teacher ever. He's such a great teacher, amazing person. And I think he sparked my interest in everything in life. I feel like he's a huge inspiration. And he's the reason why I want to study science, but I'm also majoring in Eng uh, minoring in English. Hi, I'm Lillian Byrne. Hi, I'm Amanda Cameron. Hi, I'm Abigail Arishel. Um, So my favorite memory of high school would have to be just meeting all my friends and having amazing teachers along the way. I would like to shout out Miss Grant for being an amazing teacher. Um, my favorite part of going to Methuen High is just being able to play tennis on such a supportive team. I will be continuing my academic career at Franklin Pierce University. I will be continuing my education at college next year. And I'm going to be going to Augusta University down in Georgia and studying neuroscience, which I'm really excited about. Um, scholarships are, would be really, really important to us because we're all going to be continuing our education. And any, any little bit helps. So definitely donate to the Methuen Scholarship Foundation. Yes, please. It would be very helpful. Hi, my name is Logan Healy. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a senior at Methuen High School. Out of all like the teachers I've had during my high school career, um, and this isn't just because he's standing behind the camera threatening me, he's Mr. Wilkins. Um, no, it's genuinely, I, I do really admire Mr. Wilkins. We wouldn't have a film program if it wasn't for him. Um, and that kind of segues into my next thing. Um, what I want to do after high school is pursue a career in film, uh, preferably broadcasting and then segueing that into private production. Hi, I'm James Lug. I'm currently planning to go to UMass Soul for composition and a scholarship would help me out as I can get more music supplies and get better music writing software, maybe even some production equipment. And then in addition, I can get better instruments and just supplies for those instruments. My name is Yvette. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We really hope you enjoyed listening and, uh, to the senior bios and learning about our students here at Methuen High School. That's just half of the senior bios that we've produced. We have more um, up and coming, and we'll have that running in a little while. But right now, what we wanted to do was we actually wanted to cut over to the phone booths, the, the phone bank. I oh, just yeah. called it a phone booth. We're going to cut over to the phone yeah. bank with Mr. Delano. So He's got a couple of students. We, we've Take got, it away. We've got students. We've got new people helping out tonight. It's, it's going really, really well. There's actually a flurry of activity over here. So uh, I'm here with Tianis. I'm here with Drew, who uh, are helping out here. But you'll learn more about them later on. Uh, we'll bring them up on stage, and we'll interview you guys a little bit. Um, but what I'm just going to do now is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand the, uh, the mic off to T, and uh, she's just going to run the show for a second, all right? Hello, my name is Tiani Santiago. I'm a senior here at Methuen High, and it looks like we have a few pledges here. If you'd like to read them off. Um, we have 
fifty dollars from Tom Grondine, fifty dollars from Barbara Grondine, and fifty dollars from James McDonald. And over here. So uh, I just arrived maybe 10 minutes ago, so we're just getting started. But uh, I have three donations. We have one from City Council Chair Joel Ferretra for $100, Liz Powers for $50, and Dina Desharnis for $25. But uh, a lot more to come. <laughs> all right, and that is all. Excellent. I, I, I do want to say also, uh, Methuen alumni. Methuen alumni, right? Hillary, class of 2001. We were just talking DJ, uh, 2007. It's, we're all coming back. We're we all were just, out. We were just talking about that. Right? The Methuen alumni always return. They always come back for Stepping everything in. going on here. We love when Ranger Nation shows up big love for it. the next generation. I, I'm going to sneak over here. I'm going I'm Go uh, to pick up our other student over here. Hold on one second. Oh, I'm snag here Mr. With, Drew Eason. I see him I'm here with out. Drew Eason. Yeah, he's one, another one of our student MCs, so I'm just going to let him take over. Hi, my name is Drew, and over here we got one of my friends, and he looks like he has a lot of slips, so let's introduce ourselves to Elijah. Hi, uh, as you all may know, I'm Elijah. I was here last night. Uh, let's get right to it. So we got a $50 donation from our one and only softball coach, Miss Rabino, our freshman principal, Kevin O'Loughlin, for $50 as well, and Michael Britton for $50. We also have Dina Redmond, $25, Sarah Grant, $50, and Mike Taggart, $100. We have there. We, we can pick up those slips if we want to pick those slips up and read them. I can see, you know, we've got uh, Mrs. Eason and Mr. Bryant going nuts on the telephone over there, just taking in more and more donations. All right, we have a donation from Stacy Coletti for $50. Thank you, Stacy. From Diana and Brian Bassano, $50. Thank you, guys. Of course. I think 98, Brian 98, I think. Vicky and Serge Bergeron for $100. There you go. Thank you very much. Kristen and Adam uh, Marino, right? $50. Thank you. Um, Tammy Eason for fifty dollars. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> Greg Calivas, fifty dollars. Thank you, Greg. Barbara Simonian, fifty dollars. Um, yeah. We got Bill Bryant handing off a couple of slips here. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. You're the best. Oh, there we go. What is that one, Jen? Jen. Actually, you're off the phone. We're gonna let Bill read some. Yeah, well, we'll let's Perfect. hand the mic over to Bill. Uh, we have Jen Canan here for fifty dollars. Um, Bill and Pam Bryant, fifty dollars. Eddie McKinnon, one hundred and fifty dollars. Where's that a boy, Martha? Eddie? That a boy, Where's Eddie? Martha? My guy came through. That was my first call, Martha. Nick Sapienza, uh, fifty dollars, and John Cummings for fifty dollars. So nice job there, Mr. B. Call it in. Let's go. You want to put a little plug in? You Bunch of great stuff, all right there. The we got one more from Steve Crowell. Fifty dollars. Thank you, Steve. Excellent. We have another one here. They're, they're pouring in. They're coming in right now. They're rolling in. All right. Hillary Steele for twenty-five dollars. Thank you, Hillary. Hillary. Thank you. Uh, Martha, why don't we send it back to you? We're gonna we're gonna drum up some more. Back to you, Miss Hatro. That's it. That's fabulous. Keep those calls coming. Keep everything moving along. We're uh, I, I'm really proud of all the volunteers and say thank you very much. These guys have been moving along at a quick at a quick pace at this point. I actually am seeing some additional, uh, I'm seeing some additional volunteers line up back there. I think we got uh, our, our esteemed hockey coach, Billy Blackwell, lining up back there. He's coming in next, along with some others. So again, to the donations, the platinum sponsors, I'm gonna read off a few of the ultra platinum sponsors. I'm gonna try to read from here. We've got the Frank Kahn Memorial Scholarship. We've got Texas Roadhouse, Broadway Tire Pros, Jersey Mike's, Pesten, Launch, Neil Perry, Bada Bing. What's that top one say on the left? Then we have the Platinum Sponsors. I'm having a hard time reading from here, so you know what I'll do? I'll come back to them in a bit when I can read from, when I get a better angle. 
I want to go through. Reminder for you folks, we've got lots of items here. We talked about all these last night. Head right up to the MethuenScholarship.org. You'll be able to see and uh, bid on everything we have going on. We're looking to increase those bids. Don't be shy. Throw a bid in. We've got some tremendous things going on for students. We have some um, a lot, lot of different baskets. Some of them have a lot of scratch tickets in it. We actually have some trips. We have a lot of autographed um, memorabilia. So there's a lot of options for you. We love to see you uh, jump on board with everything. I think right now, Mr. D, we're uh, going to take a quick break and head back and just take a quick peek at the Methuen High School uh, the sponsors video. Sponsors. I'm just double checking. We got that ready to roll, the sponsors video. Oh, I got to hold oh, that's on. Okay. That's all right. We'll Actually, take any we, time. We can, we can take a second before the video runs yeah. to thank the uh, the businesses that brought down food for us. Yes. Incredible, right? Bada Bing, uh, Oakland Ave Oakland Pizza Ave and Subs. Pizza. Yep. We have uh, Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's. It, great stuff. We, we appreciate everything. Yes. Uh, it's like we said yesterday, it's a community effort. It is a right? community and, effort. And, and they're, they're, they're the ones that, that are plugging the, uh, the, the bonuses on the $50 yep. donations exactly. with, with uh, Bada Bing and Texas Roadhouse, like Mr. Barden had said. Yep. and. And uh, we've, you know, we've got the Jersey Mike's, you know, buy one, get one. So it's uh, perfect. It's, uh, it's everybody coming together for the same reason. We're just here to support these students. And we're just trying to make it easier on them. Just, exactly. you know, put some money in the pocket a little bit. And, and hopefully down the road, they come back and help out. I, right? You know a lot of and, alumni over here. A lot of alumni. And that's what's happening. We had a lot of alumni last night. And they talked about how they were on the receiving end of a Methuen Scholarship Foundation Scholarship. And that's part of the reason they came back to volunteer their time and effort last night and to recruit additional people to make those donations. It's that cycle, and it's a positive cycle, and we love seeing it happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break, take a peek at the uh, sponsors video, and when we come back, we've got a couple of student performers up for some great entertainment. Take it away. The Methuen Scholarship Foundation, Inc. would like to thank all our sponsors and auction donors for their generous support. You can let them know how much you appreciate them by visiting their Methuen establishments today. And if you want to become a Scholarship Foundation sponsor, be sure to call in and donate ASAP. Here are our Ultra Platinum sponsors for this year. Thanks to Texas Roadhouse for becoming an Ultra Platinum sponsor. Legendary food and legendary service starts with taking no shortcuts. Texas Roadhouse takes great pride in every plate they serve every time. Thanks to Bada Bing for their Ultra Platinum sponsorship. Not your ordinary pizza joint. Visit Bada Bing today and enjoy pizza, subs, salads, wraps, and so much more. Thanks to Launch for becoming a Platinum sponsor for the class of 2024. Launch is the ideal place for kids, teens, and adults alike to participate in active entertainment while also providing a place for families to spend time together. Create your own experience at Launch Methuen. Thanks to Granite City Electric for their Platinum sponsorship this year the New England's largest independent electrical distributor. Granite City Electric Supply is the area's premier electrical distributor, serving electrical contractors as well as residential, commercial, and industrial customers for 100 years. Thanks to Peralt Chiropractic Office for your platinum sponsorship this year. Since 1962, Peralt Chiropractic has been providing quality chiropractic care in a friendly, comfortable environment. They look to empower their patients with the knowledge they need to achieve their healthcare goals and make educated healthcare decisions. Thanks to Salem Cooperative Bank for your platinum sponsorship. Salem Cooperative Bank wants you to experience their commitment to you. They provide financial services with integrity, honesty, and privacy. Thanks to the LCW CPA for the platinum sponsorship. They are a locally owned and operated progressive CPA firm committed to being an advocate and a champion for their client's success. LCW CPAs embraces technology and challenges the status quo and continually strive to do better and be better. The Methuen Cooperative Bank for the gold sponsors. Since its inception in 1923, Methuen Cooperative Bank has been a mainstay in the community. Thanks to Methuen Credit Union for the gold sponsorships. With Methuen Credit Union, many Americans are eligible for economic impact payments as part of coronavirus tax relief efforts. On Friday, April 10th, 
the Internal Revenue Service began issuing economic impact payments by direct deposit to qualified Americans with the first set of funds available as early as April 15th. Thanks to NESC Federal Credit Union for the gold sponsorship. NESC serves its members within the local Merrimack Valley and beyond into dozens of other states. Thanks to Commonwealth Motors for the gold sponsorship. Commonwealth Motors can help direct you to a vehicle that best meets your needs and budget, and they'll also help you take advantage of their impressive variety of offers and incentives. Thanks to Collisi Memorials for the gold sponsors. Collisi Memorials is committed to helping families capture the spirit of their loved ones by building beautiful, lasting tributes that will stand the test of time. Thanks to Etom Realty for contributing to the Silver Sponsorship. Etom Realty is commercial real estate with rental properties available in the Lawrence and Methuen area. Thanks to Wisner Orthodontics for the Silver Sponsorship. They are proud to be able to serve Methuen, North Andover, and the surrounding areas with premier orthodontic care. Thanks to Jennifer Borislow Insurance Agency Incorporated for the bronze sponsorship. Founded in 1982, Borislow Insurance serves clients across the USA and international venues. Your bronze contributions will ensure that the Methuen High School graduates hit the ground running in their new endeavors. Thank you to Richard and Eliza La Rochelle for your bronze sponsor donation. And thanks to the Methuen Police Superior Officers Association for becoming a bronze sponsor for the class of 2024. Every donation counts. Pledge today and help support our seniors with the scholarships that promote their future success. On your screen now are the donators that contributed to our auction. They are proud to be able to serve Methuen, North Andover, and the surrounding areas with premier orthodontic care. Thanks to Jennifer Borislow Insurance Agency Incorporated for the bronze sponsorship. Founded in 1982, Borislow Insurance serves clients across the USA and international venues. Your bronze contributions will ensure that the Methuen High School graduates hit the ground running in their new endeavors. Thank you to Richard and Eliza La Rochelle for your bronze sponsor donation. And thanks to the Methuen Police Superior Officers Association for becoming a bronze sponsor for the class of 2024. Every donor support our seniors with the scholarships that promote their future success. On your screen now are the donators that contributed to our auction items. Thank you so much for your contributions. There are three ways to donate to the Methuen Scholarship Foundation. You can send your donation by mail to Methuen Scholarship Foundation, Inc. at P.O. Box number 2005, Methuen, Mass. You can donate on PayPal at Methuen Scholarship or Venmo at Methuen-Scholarship. Or you can place a bid on our auction website at newbiddingowl.com slash Methuen Scholarships. Thank you for your pledge. back i think we're back mr we're back. g great video it is great it's, video it's a, it's a great video and we love the fact that the students take the time to thank all the sponsors it's really important again it's for them this is about the students so having them play an integral role in this is really important for us i i don't know mr d the the phone lines are jumping phone, tonight phone lines are, are jacked we have a we have a, a bunch of parents coming in i see some coaches uh, i see ryan hamilton hiding over there a little I bit i do with coach Billy blackwell, blackwell. Right, we we got a lot of people, a lot of people tonight coming in to help out, which is awesome. And uh, we there's a lot of activity in terms of people writing down pledge slips, 
So it, it sounds like it's going to be a great night, night two here. This it is. is. It's going to be it's fabulous. It's shaping up really well. Shaping so, up well. So we got a nice little spotlight right now, and yeah. um, we have a couple of performances, and um, we're going to introduce and have the students perform, and then we're going to interview each one of them. Uh, so right now we would like to bring out Eliana Henao and Emmanuel Catulege, and they are singing I Have Nothing by my absolute all-time favorite artist, Whitney Houston. I am so excited. Love these senior performances. I this love it. Great. I absolutely love it. Take it away. We're just clearing up some technical difficulties. <laughs> Logan, you know, Logan takes the lead. He's amazing in terms of helping out and making sure everything's working. So we're just going to let him finish. And I think we are now ready to go. Take it away. to look very much further. I don't want to have to go where you don't follow. I don't want to hold it back again. This passion inside can't run from myself. There's nowhere to hide. Your love I'll remember forever.
Let's hear it for Ileana. Oh, hang out wow. here for a minute, you guys. You got to yeah. hang out. You got to hang, hang out. out with us. Come on. We want to talk. We want to talk. We do want to talk. So I want to, um, you know, Ileana, what, what I'd like to hear is talk a little bit about yourself. Um, any clubs, activities you've been involved with here at the high school? What are your plans after graduation? What we like to do is really showcase who you are completely. You have an amazing voice that was absolutely beautiful. I'm sure Whitney is very proud. So I'm going to hand it over and have a little chit chat. All right, so <coughs> I'm a senior this year in high school, yeah. and um, I plan to go to Merrimack College and study nutrition. Um, I also participate in the choir, um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. We that that's pretty much it. But you know what? Choir is not an easy. It's it's hard. And have you grown up taking voice lessons? No, so that's all natural. Singing, that's amazing. That's amazing. So I'm gonna turn it over to Mr. Mr. D. Take it away. Yeah, with uh, Emmanuel on the piano, I gotta say it, this takes a lot of practice, right? How often do you practice? Um, I don't know if I like have like <laughs> something to do like this. Usually, like probably every day. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's a, it's a labor of love. You can you can tell on the just moving around on the you see it seems natural. Uh, is music in the future plans for you? Uh, we we know that you guys are both seniors here. Uh, like Miss Tejo did over here. Um, talk about like what's in the future for Emmanuel. Um, so I want to major in nursing. Um, as of now, I don't know where yet, but that's something that I want to explore. Excellent. Um, you, do you see music in your future as well? Um, maybe like as a hobby, not like something like professional, but I definitely do want to keep doing it. That's awesome. That is awesome. And when you it. love music, don't ever let it go. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Don't stop playing and don't stop singing. All right? Awesome. So we are gonna, um, we're going to take a quick break and head over to some senior bios, the second round of the senior bios. And now uh, when we come back, we're going to hop on over where our, uh, we'll be looking for our two senior MCs again. We're going to go over to the call center and we're going to take a peek, see where we're at. They are flying over there, Mr. D. Look at those oh, yeah. phone lines. We, we can also, if we bring up the senior MCs yes. uh, and, and have them up here with us, they can, we have some more talent coming up too. So we can have yes, them introduce, uh, we have another singer coming up um, soon. So after yep. the bios, maybe we can get the students to help out with some introductions of students. We we'll, we'll make it student-driven, student-run, and uh, we'll see how it goes. That works for me. Yeah, definitely. That absolutely. So we'll, if we can, we'll cut the student bios. Yep. We'll run some student bios and, uh, and hear about students' interests, where they're going to school, what they're going to be studying. And when we come back, we'll get some more students up here. You got it. Great Take job. it away. Thank you. Great job, guys. My name is Evenson Osiris. I'm a senior at Methuen High School. I'm in a couple clubs. I wrestled for two years. I'm in National Arts Honor Society, my favorite club. Uh, a memory I love that Methuen would be me arguing with my sophomore English teacher, Miss Harris, about which color is better, green or orange. Orange is definitely better than green. Hi, my name is Carolise. And my name is Cheyenne. And after MHS, I want to go on to get my undergraduate, get my bachelor's degree, and go on to med, med, med school. <laughs> for 13 years to become a pediatric general surgeon. This scholarship can really help me out because I have so many years of school to go and as everybody knows, med school is very, very expensive. And I wanna to go to school to become an esthetician and this scholarship would really help me out because esthetician school is very expensive. It's something off branch of the medical field. So it would help me out pay for esthetician school and my machines going forward in life. I'm Fernando Jose Ramos, a senior at Methuen High School. I'm in Early Childhood Honors, where I and along with my classmates teach and assist the Little Rangers program. 
I'll be taking a gap year and then joining the City Years program. I'd like to say thanks to Ms. Langevin and to Ms. Walsh and many others that helped me throughout my journey. I'd like to also say thanks to my mother who helped me throughout my life. Hello, my name is Sydney Chalupa and I'm currently a senior at Methuen High School. And throughout my four years at MHS, I was on the varsity volleyball team, participated in SAD Club, NHS, and Science National Honor Society. And in the future, I want to major in architecture, hopefully at a high-rated college. And I'd like to shout out my childhood softball coach, Coach Mike Monsanto, for always being there for me and always making me laugh. Hello. I'm Carter Delano and I'm a senior here at Methuen High. Some of the things that I do are, I'm captain of the swim team, I'm on the track team, I'm president of both Science National Honor Society and History Honor Society, I am treasurer of Na the National Honor Society, and I am on the student council. I don't really want to go to college specifically, but I do know that I do want to go to college, hopefully study biology, and become a pharmaceutical scientist. Hi, my name is Eleanor Murphy and I'm a senior at Methuen High School. I'm the battalion commander of Methuen and JROTC, a member of National Honor Society and Science National Honor Society, and I also volunteered a nonprofit organization called Debbie Treasure Chest. After high school, I plan to study chemical engineering, and I want to thank my parents, Ms. Greenlee, Mr. Harris, and all my other teachers for helping me grow into who I am today. Hi, my name is Naina Pina Cabral, and I'm currently a senior here at Methuen High School. In school, I'm involved in SAD and I'm currently Vice President of Books and Bagels. Outside of school, I am a dancer and I student teach at my dance studio. I volunteer in the Pediatric and Maternity Unit at Lawrence General Hospital and I'm also a member of SBS Leaders through Debbie's Treasure Chest. I would like to thank my parents for always supporting my goals and being there for me no matter what. Hi y'all, I'm Justin Madonna and I'm a member of the senior class. This year I have participated in yearbook as a club after school. It was so much fun. My post-secondary plan is to study computer science in college. I do not know what college I'll be going to at this time. And thank you to all the family, friends, and teachers who have guided me along my academic journey. Any scholarship money will be appreciated to me and my family. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Maribel Spiridon. I'm from Lebanon and I'm a senior at Bethune High School. I'm a participant in the MHS Choir Science National Honor Society, National Honor Society, and French Club. My future plans is to attend college and major in biochemistry. I want to give a huge thanks to my family and friends for always supporting me and to Madame Ojgun. And any scholarship I receive would mean a lot to me and to my family. Thank you. Hi, my name is Taylor McDermott. I am a senior at Methuen High. I am part of the Sewing Club, Strategy Games Club, Film and Video Club, and the Academic Competitions team. I am going to UMass Lowell to get a computer science degree. Shout outs to Ms. Jean, Mrs. Narnip, and Mrs. Simmons. Thank you all so much, and shout outs to all of my teachers, really. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, my name is My Twin. I'm from CNOE in Matron High School. I will be attending NECO NEC 4 and my major in nursing. I want to give a big thanks to my friend who helped me practice in English and my family. Hi, I'm Joseph Ventura. I'm a senior at Methuen High School. I plan on going to Northern Essex Community College next year to study nursing. Shout out to Ms. Gusser. Hi, my name is Samuel Tranchant. I'm a senior at Methuen High School. And um, after high school, I'd like to go to college to study mechanical engineering. Um, I'd like to give a special thank you to some of my teachers, uh, Ms. Fleming, Ms. Brooks, and one of my principals, Ms. Javier, and the scholarships that they would really mean to me. Um, hi, my name is Nicole. I go to, um, I'm a senior at Methuen High School. I plan on going to um, high school. And um, after high school, I would like to study vet technician. Um, and so a scholarship would be a lot to me. Um, yeah, I would like to give a special thanks to um, my math teacher, Miss Stevenson, for teaching me the value of money. Hi, I'm Tess Martino. I'm a senior here in Lithuan High School. And next year, I plan on going to Merrimack College to study psychology. Shout out, Miss Brooks. And the scholarship would really mean the world. Uh, my name is Brianna Isaac. Um, I'm part of the Multicultural Club and Spanish Club. And I want to go to a four-year college for performing arts. And 
become a performing arts teacher after college. And a shout out to my mom and dad. Hi, my name is Josh Bumel. I'm a senior at Methuen High School. Uh, I played soccer all four years of um, high school, and I plan on going to UNH next year for mechanical engineering. Hi, my name's Jonathan. I'm a senior at Methuen High. I've, I've done geodesy all four years. I swam all four years. And next year, I'm planning on going to Mass Maritime for emergency management. Thank you. My name is Morgan Parrington. I'm a senior at Methuen High School. My name is Anailis Caminero, and I'm a senior in Methuen High School. My name is Nadia Azar, and I'm a senior at Methuen High School. I was the captain of the field hockey team and also the manager of the girls' ice hockey team here. Um, let me see. I was a part of the Girls on the Rise club, and um, yeah. I am a part of the National Arts Honor Society and and. Muslim Student Association. Yeah. My post-secondary plans, well, ours, is all to go to Middlesex Community College. Yes. I'm going for nursing. Um, I'm planning on studying courses like behavioral sciences and psychology. I'm stuck on between Middlesex and Suffolk, but I do want to study something in general management and hospitality. We just want to say a huge thank you to, to Mr. Mr. Propoli. Propoli. He's an amazing math teacher. <laughs> we appreciate him. Hi, my name is Jaden Toriano, and I participated in the Books and Bagels Club, and I plan on going to Harvard. Um, so make sure you... I'm Owen Howell, I'm a student here at Methuen High School, and I plan on studying engineering, although I don't know the college yet. Um, hi, my name is Emily Jimenez. My name is Adriani Moore, and we both attend Methuen High School. We're both majoring in nursing next year. I'm attending Regis College. And I'll be going to Merrimack College for nursing. I want to say thank you to all the teachers that I've had as past years. And I believe the scholarship will really help us achieve our goals in the future. Hi, I'm Ileana Janelle, and I plan to study nutrition in Merrimack College, and the scholarship would really help. Hi, I'm Kendra Scott. And I'm Kenzie Rell, and, and we're seniors at Methuen High, High School. school. Um, next year, I plan on going to UNH and studying health science. And next year, I'll be going to New England College to play softball and study graphic design. And a scholarship would really help us. Thank you. Hi, my name is Melanie Hernandez. And I'm Katiri Contreras. And we're seniors here at Methuen High School. Um, uh, next year, I plan on studying biology or animal science, and I really don't know where I'm going to go, but that's the plan to get a bachelor's degree. My plan is to study finance and a little bit of business administration in a college in which I'm not really sure of either, but hopefully gain my master's in finance. Uh, we'd like to give a shout out to a teacher that no longer teaches here. Unfortunately, her name is Miss Maimoni. We'll always love her with all our heart, and we sincerely miss her. And I would like to give a shout out to Mr. Pags for always believing in me. Even though I'm not that great at calculus, he's always pushing me to do my best, and I really appreciate that about him. Hi, my name is Sarah Elise. I'm a student at McGowan High School, and I plan to go to UMass Lowell to study engineering and programming. I'm a full-time student and part-time sales associate, and this scholarship will really help me. Hi, my name is Nancy Manning, and I plan on going to UMass Lowell and major in biology, and I plan on going to dental school, and the scholarship would help me reach my goal. Thank you for your donation. Hi, my name is Lily Finacaro. I plan to go to college for physical therapy, and a scholarship would greatly help. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ava Kleberger. I'm going to UNH and majoring in marketing, and this scholarship would really help a lot of people. Um, hi, my name is Olivia Clark, and I plan on majoring in media productions at Emerson College, and your donation would really help. Thank you. My name is Oscar, and I want to major in medicine at Merrimack College, and a scholarship would mean a lot to me. Hi, my name is Luke Polomiskai. I will be attending Merrimack College next year for a degree in digital media, and a scholarship would help in that it would just allow me for opportunities to pursue what I love, which is uh, movies. Hi, my name is Ava Aziz. I'm a senior at Methuen High School, and I'll be studying nursing at Endicott College. Hello, my name is Ryan Kelly. I plan to go to UMass Amherst, and I would like to study business or finance. My name is Casey Buck. I'm a senior at Methuen High School, and I plan to study medical sonography at University of Maine.
right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I wanted to take a moment prior to cutting over to the call center to uh, bring up our 2016 class president, now state representative, Mr. Ryan Hamilton. Thank you for having me. Thanks for having me back. Um, you know, this is always a great time to be back at Methuen High because we're doing a great thing for a lot of great students here in the city of Methuen. You know, I always like to give back to this scholarship because not only did I receive it, but um, college, unfortunately, is not getting any cheaper anytime soon. And we have a lot of great students here who want to do a lot of great things with their future, um, and it's on us to support them. So with that being said, I have three donations, one from uh, former Mayor Bill Manzi for $50, one from current city councilor DJ Beauregard for $100, and then one from myself for $200. So I would uh, advise that uh, all of us, donate and donate as much as we can and you know the gauntlet has been thrown down for the class of 2016 I expect to uh, see those Venmos lighten up and I expect to hear a lot of names from kids that I went to school giving back um, to students um, and to our future leaders here in the city of Methuen so thanks for having me well thank you very much for coming it's a pleasure and thank you for all you do for our kids we are going to take a quick cut over to the phone bank because they were rolling in the donations. We, Take it away, Mr. We Beaver. have I, We did have a, an exchange of, of parent volunteers and uh, MAIC boosters uh, do a little bit of a switch. I just, I just wrote down a bunch of names from people that I saw, and I uh, definitely want to thank everybody who's over here. Uh, Tammy, Cheryl, Angela, uh, Anne-Marie, Beth, Tanya, Allison, Hillary's over there, Kate, Erica, Kristen. Uh, DJ was on the line earlier. Bob, there's, there's so many people coming to help out. Uh, I, we just got so many slips. We're going to read a bunch of them off. So these, these uh, ladies are, are answering phones now. Uh, we brought up a couple students here, right? So, uh, so I'll, uh, I'll just let them introduce themselves, and uh, they're going to read off some of the pledges, and then I'll sneak over to the other side because we got swamped in about a 35-minute period. So I'm just going to hand this off to, uh, to Carter Delano. Hello, I'm Carter Delano, and I'm a senior here. They're all busy at work, so I'm just going to name some of the donations right now. So I got a $50 donation from Keith Deschanel, a $50 donation from Nancy Peralt, Former teacher. and a $50 donation from Jill Coughlin. And now I'm going to pass it on to Anthony. Hello, everyone. My name is Anthony Danella from the class of 2024. I have a $25 donation from Dory DeMeo, a, a $50 donation from Sula Busios, a $50 donation from Kate Isherwood, and a $25 donation from Karen Fitzgerald. Karen Fitzgerald, Nancy Peralt, former teachers, right? We have uh, Jill Coughlin, class of 91. We've got alumni, former teachers. We have, we have more donations over here. One minute, one minute. Uh, we, I'm here with uh, Elijah Lilja. He's going to announce a few pledges here. Hi there. Uh, first off, I would just like to say we have a donation from the golovsky toomey family, $100. Thank you. Uh, Christ, Kristen Jordan, $50. Thank you, Kristen. And Kathleen Angelari for $50 as well. Thank you. Chantel? Hello, I am Chantel Martinez. I'm class of 2024, and I have some names to read off here. Our first one is actually anonymous, but they donated $50. Thank you so much. The next one, $50, Susie Vecchi. Love it. The next one is Marla de la Cruz, $50. One more, actually. One more? David LeChant. Oh, yeah. Look $50. Woo. Yeah, David's, wow. 50. Uh, a lot of 50s coming in. Uh, we have 100. Do you, do you guys, uh, Tanya's here. She's got plenty, plenty to read here, so we'll help out a little bit. Okay, we have a $50 donation from Melissa Chazon. She is at the CGS school. And a $10 donation from Jasmine Burke, also from the CGS school. We have a $50 donation from Karen Conti and a $20 donation from Eileen and Ed Guy. That's Eddie Sr. Eddie Sr., yeah. We're on the phone with Eddie now. We have a $50 donation from Sarah Ronaldo from the Tenney PTO president. And we have a $50 from former Methuen City Councilor James McCarty. So that's all I have for right now. I'm going to pass the mic. Oh, I'm, I'm you, you don't want to read? We'll, we'll help out. We got, we got, we got, we got. 
All right, we have Kim Baxter, $25. Woo! Steve Casarano, $50. Yes. Greg Lavelle, $50. Chrissy, $50. Yes, thank you. Catherine Lavelle, $50. And Alyssa Morgan, $50 as well. One more, one more. Nicole Bomel, $100. $100 pledge, thank you. This is, Val, do you want to read them? Ladies and gentlemen, Val Carter helping out a little bit. Hi, we have AJ Fusco from A2 with a $50 donation. We have Ernest Carter with a $50 donation. We have Deanna Lesser with a $50 donation. And we have Valerie Carter with a $60 donation. You have some over in the corner? You want to read some off? No, she doesn't want to read. We have, we have, shy, we have, sh we have shy parents helping out. We have Cheryl Fernando Mancini. 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 Cheryl. Uh, Cheryl is here, uh, Director of Fine Arts, right? Yeah, and Fernando over at the Marsh. Thank you. Love that. $50. We have Donald Sestini. John Sestini. Mr. Sestini for all the alumni out there. Mr. Sestini all checking all in. Oh, uh, thank $50. you. Thanks, Don. Lisa. Um, oh, Liza Gagnon. Yeah, thank you. $50. And then we have Julie Matthews, another fifty dollars. A lot of fifty dollars here. Fifty dollar. We can't thank you enough because if uh, I know Martha's up on stage with a couple of our student MCs uh, with that fifty dollar donation, we're also getting uh, Texas Roadhouse, Bada Bing, yeah. Jersey Mike's launch. It's right, you're getting uh, what is it, eighty dollars worth of of coupons back for a fifty dollar donation. So we we truly truly appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna send it back up. So uh, Chantel and I and and Carter over here with Anthony and and. Uh, Elijah, we're going to send it back up to you guys up on stage. Well, thank you very much, Mr. D. It's absolutely a pleasure to be back up here. I have to my left Miss Pianais Santiago, and she is going to be heading off to, uh, we're going to hear a little bit more about her shortly, but she's heading off to UMass Lowell under a D1 scholarship for softball, and to my right I have Mr. Drew Eason. He's heading to Stonehill under a D1 for football, but we're going to take a moment because uh, Drew's going to introduce our next act. Hi, guys. My name is Drew, and I want to introduce one of our very own students here at Bethune High School, class of 2024, Fabian. He's going to be singing Wait For It by Hamilton. Here we go, Fabian. Theodosia writes me a letter every day Keeping a bed warm while her husband is away He's on the British side of Georgia He's trying to keep the colonies in line Well, he can keep all of Georgia Theodosia, she's mine Love doesn't discriminate Between the sinners and the saints It takes and it takes and it takes And he's willing anyway We laugh and we cry and we break and we make our mistakes and if there's a reason I'm by his side when so many have tried then I'm willing to wait for it I'm willing to wait for it my grandfather was a fire and a brimstone preacher but there are things that the homilies and hymns won't teach her my mother was a genius my father commanded respect when they died, they left no instructions, just a legacy to protect. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes, and we keep living anyway. We rise and we fall and we break and we make our mistakes. And if there's a reason I'm still alive and everyone who loves me has died, I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Pace is relentless, he wastes no time. But what is it like? 
He exhibits no restraints. He takes and he takes and he takes and he keeps winning anyway. Changes the game, plays and he raises the stakes. And if there's a reason, he seems to thrive with no few survive. And God damn it, I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Life doesn't discriminate. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait. Fabian, come over here. That's amazing. If you're unaware, Fabian has taken the lead in many of our musicals and school plays over the last few years. So he wants to give you a little plug. He wants to give a little plug. They have a phenomenal show coming up in about a week, I think. Two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks? All right. Do me a favor. Tell everybody about your show. All right. So the show that Stage Door 22 is doing, as I see I'm repping the jacket, obviously. Uh, we're doing the show musical Godspell. It's really about the book of Matthew, but it's not really just a religious story. It's a story about community and love and being together as a family. And I think it's a beautiful story, and you guys should really check it out. The cast is amazing. We've been working our butts off with the music. I just came from rehearsal, actually, that lasted until 5, so pretty lucky that I can be here right now. Um, so the show dates will be April 5th, uh, that Thursday. Oh, April 4th, actually, on that Thursday at 7 p.m., uh, not fr on same Friday, there will be a show at 7 p.m. also, and on Saturday, we'll be having our matinees, so we'll have a show at 2 p.m. and another show at 7 p.m. also. And I'm really excited, so if you guys could come or support MHS a bit more and come to the show, I think it'll be amazing. And I'll give it back to Ms. Tatro now. Well, Fabian, you can give me the mic back, but I, tell us a little bit more about yourself. What's your plan after high school? You know, again, we love to advertise and showcase our seniors. I have a few more coming up, but right now the spotlight's on Fabian. Tell us about yourself, your plans after high school, where you think you might be going, what you're going to be studying. So I'm going to be honest, I'm probably I'm taking a gap year. I, I, I need a little bit of a break from school before I jump back into it, but I'm not going to be doing any, nothing during that gap year. I'm going to be working my butt off, trying to get this acting thing started because I want to try to be an actor. Um, so I'm going to be doing as many musicals and as many plays I can stuff in for that year. And if it all goes well, I think I'm going to go to a liberal arts college to really cement this acting thing and hopefully go somewhere, honestly. Well, Fabian, I can see the stars without question are in your future. I've seen him in, and I've listened and heard him, and he's just honestly amazing. So your future looks bright. And by the way, a gap year is phenomenal. Um, it's something several students do every year, and it's a perfect thing. Some students just need that break. What's important when you take that gap year is do something to better improve and enhance who you are and really use that time to find yourself. And you definitely have that goal in mind. So Fabian, nice job. Thank you very much. You are good. I'm going to bring out, I got our four seniors hanging out over here right now. Come on out, you guys. So this is a little more of our showcase on the seniors. And so... I have a Tiani, I'm going to say it wrong, Tianae Santiago, and as I said, she's uh, heading off to UMass Lowell, Division One, playing softball, Drew Eason, and so these guys are going to, we're going to go down the line. I want them to introduce themselves, tell where they're going, what they think they might be doing. I know some of them aren't sure, but I'm going to hand the mic and we're going to roll down the line. So my name is Tianae Santiago, I'm a senior at Methuen High. I am a part of SAD and National Honor Society. I play volleyball, basketball, and softball. And I plan on going to UML next year to study nursing. Hi, my name is Drew Eason. Uh, I'm going to Stonehill College next year, currently senior at Methuen. And I'll be playing football there. And my plan right now is to do health sciences there. And from here at Methuen, I uh, played football, I played basketball, I played volleyball. 
I was a part of the National Honor Society and Science National Honor Society as well. I'll be passing the mic to James. Hi, my name is James Levesque. I'm currently a senior here at Methuen High School. Uh, I'm a part of the basketball team and the volleyball team here. I wasn't sad, and I was in students helping others, but not anymore. Uh, next year, I'm be going to Riviera University to play volleyball there, and my plan is to major in political science. Uh, my name is Matthew Kavasov, and I'm currently a senior here at Methuen High School. Um, uh, currently, I'm deciding between two colleges, Hofstra University and UMass Lowell. Uh, I plan on studying computer engineering. Uh, some of the activities I do here at the school include Science National Honor Society, and I also used to be a part of the SAD organization. Um, for the high school currently, I play volleyball, and I was also a member of the golf and wrestling team. So again, these are some of our student athletes, um, but they're not just student athletes. They're students who are actively involved and engaged. There's lots of things going on here at Methuen High School, a ton of clubs, a ton of activities. I want to say thank you to you guys for coming here tonight and volunteering. I think we bouncing back to you, Mr. D, really quickly, since we have some more donations. We, yeah, so we, while we had talent, and, and Fabian was great, and you guys, awesome yep. job emceeing tonight. Uh, we have a couple students who came back for night two, Crystal and Brooke. And uh, while that was going on, we had a bunch of donations and pledges over here. So I'm just going to hand it off, and uh, they're going to read about 20 of these. It's That's crazy, awesome. Right? Take it away, you guys. Um, I have a couple pledges. I have some, one from Lori Urell for $50, one from Winnie Roosh for $25, one from Michelle Andriotla for $50, one from Christine Benz for $50, one from Gina Rizzo for $50, one from Michelle Wormwald for, for $25, one from Lauren Fridgey for $50, one from Beth Spinelli for $50. One from Anthony Bruno for $50. One from William Sullivan for $50. One from Pat Hamilton for $50. And one from Andrew Bulldog for $50. Thank you guys so much. Hi, I have a couple donations over here. I have Michael Diodotti who donated $50. Kristen O'Shaughnessy right here donated $50 as well. Roseanne donated $25. Kristen donated 20 Sandy Holmes donated $50. Cheryl Weingar with $50. Tracy Hamilton with $50. Shannon Plude for $50. Allison Charpentier for $20. Judy Trabuco for $25. Um, Aristides Marino for $20. Dylan Grill for or t Dylan Gale for $5, and that's all my donations. Thank you very much, everybody, for donating. Awesome, and uh, while they were reading, we got uh, a donation from Karen Cooper for $50 as well. So uh, we're going uh, to send it back up to Martha. I'm sure that uh, we've had a couple parents shuffle in and shuffle out. So uh, as we send it back up to Martha real quick, we can send it back to me after that, and I'm sure that we're going to have way, way more pledges. This is awesome. The, uh, the parents tonight... Uh, MAIC boosters, parents, uh, absolutely coming through tonight. This is great over here. So I'm going to send it back to Martha. Thanks, Mr. D. Um, yeah, we have the MAIC boosters, and uh, I want to make sure I shout out and say thank you very much. Another terrific organization here at Methuen High School. They do an awful lot for our students. They are always looking for volunteers to be a part of that organization. You do not have to have a student at Methuen High School to be a part of that organization. We would love to have you jump in and join us. And so I think at this point, um, we're going to head to a auction video. Mr. Wilkins is giving me the yes, auction video. So we're going to take a quick break, about 10 minutes. We're going to head to an auction video, give you an opportunity to see everything going on. When we come back, we're going to make an, a, ni a nice announcement with a really cool uh, donation. And then we're also going to cut live to a performance in a little bit. Mr. McCaffrey is back for another night. Take it away, Mr. Wilkins.
We're back. We are back, We're Mr. Back. Delano. With great news. With great news. Great we news. have a uh, really special donation. And so at this time, we would like to invite a group of seniors to join us seniors, out come on, on stage. stage. Come on stage. They're slowly making their way out. Wow, look at these which guys. Which works for us. This is okay. There we go. Big smiles, big smiles, right? Big smiles, because it's great smiles. news, guys. It's great news. So um, on behalf of um, from Neil Perry, in memory of his mom, Patricia Walsh, Walsh, who is a member of the class of 1952, he has made a donation of $1,000 to the Methuen Scholarship awesome. Foundation. Thank you so much. So Great news. Thank you so much, Neil. And what do we say? Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. So we thank you very much. We're going to say thanks to you guys. You're not thank done. You. We All got right. more work for you. <laughs> Head right off for us. <laughs> see you guys. See you guys at the call center. Holy moly, that's awesome news. That that's is amazing. News. Thank you very right? much. Class Thank of, you. Class of '52. I know, ni right? 1952. Holy moly, that's 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 going back to like Searles Tenney type stuff, right? Like that's. It might be. Yeah, I we're think going it is Terry. Yeah, we're I, going history. I, I would have I would have known that if I took the history of Methuen class that's offered here at yes. Methuen High, but that came on a little bit after. Uh, a uh, little bit after your time. My graduation in 1991. <laughs> All right. So. Right. And the cool thing is about events like this is in between, we actually had a student approach us, and he said, my friend over there on the camera said, I should sing. I should and do a so vocal. And so I should do a vocal. So without further ado, and a last-minute addition, and I'm very excited. It's a good one. Mr. Jarrell Espinal, come on out and join us. Jarrell. He is going to sing Like I Want You by Givian. Give me on. Give me on. Take it away. Sometimes I wish you knew This guy's the truth I say I'm happy but I'm still stuck on us mm -hmm. Does your mind play this game too? It's overdue. Tell me your point of view. Tell me, am I to blame? You're so good with change. Mm -hmm. A table set for two. You got me waiting, but you ain't coming through. Try to stay patient, but gotta face the truth. Mm -hmm. There's no reason 
willing to believe I'll save us now. But if you really love me, say it now. Why is it so hard to figure out? I need you every day. Believe me when I say it. To be honest, I haven't really been singing like as a as more of like a professional lessons thing. It's just more of a hobby, and, you know. I sing in the shower a lot, <laughs> um, but I've never really taken singing too seriously. It's just been more of a hobby for me. Well, that hobby, I apologize. That hobby is amazing. You have quite the vocal range. It's it's very clear that you enjoy singing, and it's definitely, I think, something you should consider doing and to whomever your friend is behind the camera that said you should do a vocal you were spot on my friend so Jarrell what year are you tell us a little bit about yourself what are you thinking of doing after high school um right now I'm in my senior year um I'm in plans to apply to Merrimack College to major in physics shout out Mr. Harris um I played varsity football and I'm currently on the varsity volleyball team and I'm a member of the school's high school of the Methuen High School Band. That is awesome. What instrument do you play? Um, I currently play the tuba, but I also play the guitar, bass guitar, the trumpet, and saxophone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you learn something new every day, and we have an incredibly multi-talented musical artist here on stage tonight. Jarrell, thank you very much. I'm very excited that you asked us if you could sing tonight. It was absolutely worth it. Thank you again. So I think, Mr. D, right now we are headed to, uh, we're going to take a quick break. Actually, one, one oh. second, one second. Uh, oh. If we want to uh, we get the senior movement going out here. All right. right so Lisa, we, we, have, can, we can announce this now, right? Looks wanna, like we have another check. So if, if they want to head over to uh Jarrell, you can come out here, you know, I, and join I can them on stage. This. You're a senior. Yeah. Mr. D is going to take this one away. So this one, this, uh, Lisa just handed this to us, and, and we, we definitely want to put it on the big board. So uh, this is June and Randy uh, Corelli and uh, Dale and Jeff Curlane uh, with the David Paul Corelli Scholarship. Uh, David was a, a healthcare worker and got sick during COVID. During COVID, uh, And yeah. there's a, a scholarship set up, uh, and they want to make a donation. If you guys want to flip the board from the David Paul Corelli Scholarship, $1,100. $1,100. That is awesome. Thank you so much, uh, the scholarship the way that it's set up, uh, we, the $1,100 is coming right back to the students here. We can't thank those yep. guys enough. We really appreciate it. Um, we just wanted to sneak this one in yep. because this is big news. Good it news. Is big news. Huge donations for these kids, and it, it's, it's all going back to them, and uh, we want to thank them uh, from the bottom of our hearts with that yep. kind of donation. And, and it's great. definitely very much appreciated. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break with um, a quick sponsors video. We're g that will allow uh, Hudson McCaffrey to set up on stage, so when we come back live, we will be with uh, having Hudson perform. Then we'll end with the call center and a few more items, and then we'll close yep. out the night around nine o'clock with and our show. And definitely, uh, we want to remind everybody, yes. auction auction still runs past tonight. Oh, there you Auc go. Auction's going to run through April first, so April we, uh, we 1st. confirmed t timing and date. So uh, if you do miss out tonight on uh, on uh, catching up on one of these auction items, it's still going to be online through the Methuen Scholarship uh, dot org website. Uh, just check out the auction items. If you missed something tonight, 
we got your back. Yes. We're definitely going to have and, it. And we told you there are a lot of items up for bid on this, and uh, including some getaways, um, as well as some autographed items, things for kids, things for adults, lots of great opportunities and things to, to bid on. So with that, we will um, take it away to a sponsor's video, and then we will be back live and in person be with right Hudson McCaffrey. Thank you. The Methuen Scholarship Foundation, Inc. would like to thank all our sponsors and auction donors for their generous support. You can let them know how much you appreciate them by visiting their Methuen establishments today. And if you want to become a Scholarship Foundation sponsor, be sure to call in and donate ASAP. Here are our Ultra Platinum sponsors for this year. Thanks to Texas Roadhouse for becoming an Ultra Platinum sponsor. Legendary food and legendary service starts with taking no shortcuts. Texas Roadhouse takes great pride in every plate they serve every time. Thanks to Bada Bing for their Ultra Platinum sponsorship. Not your ordinary pizza joint. Visit Bada Bing today and enjoy pizza, subs, salads, wraps, and so much more. Thanks to Launch for becoming a Platinum sponsor for the class of 2024. Launch is the ideal place for kids, teens, and adults alike to participate in active entertainment while also providing a place for families to spend time together. Create your own experience at Launch Methuen. Thanks to Granite City Electric for their platinum sponsorship this year, the New England's largest independent electrical distributor. Granite City Electric Supply is the area's premier electrical distributor, serving electrical contractors as well as residential, commercial, and industrial customers for 100 years. Thanks to Peralt Chiropractic Office for your platinum sponsorship this year. Since 1962, Peralt Chiropractic has been providing quality chiropractic care in a friendly, comfortable environment. They look to empower their patients with the knowledge they need to achieve their healthcare goals and make educated healthcare decisions. Thanks to Salem Cooperative Bank for your platinum sponsorship. Salem Cooperative Bank wants you to experience their commitment to you. They provide financial services with integrity, honesty, and privacy. Thanks to the LCW CPA for the Platinum Sponsorship. They are a locally owned and operated progressive CPA firm, committed to being an advocate and a champion for their client's success. LCW CPAs embraces technology and challenges the status quo and continually strive to do better and be better. Thanks to Methuen Cooperative Bank for the gold sponsors. Since its inception in 1923, Methuen Cooperative Bank has been a mainstay in the community. Thanks to Methuen Credit Union for the gold sponsorships. With Methuen Credit Union, many Americans are eligible for economic impact payments as part of coronavirus tax relief efforts. On Friday, April 10th, the Internal Revenue Service began issuing economic impact payments by direct deposit to qualified Americans with the first set of funds available as early as April 15th. Thanks to NESC Federal Credit Union for the gold sponsorship. NESC serves its members within the local Merrimack Valley and beyond into dozens of other states. Thanks to Commonwealth Motors for the gold sponsorship. Commonwealth Motors can help direct you to a vehicle that best meets your needs and budget, and they'll also help you take advantage of their impressive variety of offers and incentives. Thanks to Collizzi Memorials for the gold sponsors. Collizzi Memorials is committed to helping families capture the spirit of their loved ones by building beautiful, lasting tributes that will stand the test of time. Thanks to Etom Realty for contributing to the Silver Sponsorship. Etom Realty, a commercial real estate with rental properties available in the Lawrence and Methuen area. Thanks to Wisner Orthodontics for the Silver Sponsorship. They are proud to be able to serve Methuen. Thanks to Jennifer Borslow and Shirley. Thanks to Wisner Orthodontics for the Silver Sponsorship. They are proud to be able to serve Methuen, North Andover, and the surrounding areas with premier orthodontic care. Thanks to Jennifer Borslow Insurance Agency Incorporated for the Bronze Sponsorship. Founded in 1982, Borslow Insurance serves clients across the USA and international venues. Your bronze contributions will ensure that the Methuen High School graduates hit the ground running in their new endeavors. Thank you to Richard and Eliza LaRochelle for your bronze sponsor donation. 
And thanks to the Methuen Police Superior Officers Association for becoming a bronze sponsor for the class of 2024. Every donation counts. Pledge today and help support our seniors with the scholarships that promote their future success. On your screen now are the donators that contributed to our auction items. Thank you so much for your contributions. There are three ways to donate to the Methuen Scholarship Foundation. You can send your donation by mail to Methuen Scholarship Foundation, Inc. at P.O. Box number 2005, Methuen, Mass. You can donate on PayPal at Methuen Scholarship or Venmo at Methuen-Scholarship. Or you can place a bid on our auction website at newbiddingowl.com slash Methuen Scholarships. Thank you for your pledge. So listen, we are back, and we are going to honestly just do a quick transition. Hudson McCaffrey here is a sophomore. He's a sophomore here at Methuen High School, and uh, he's actually played at this event, I think, the last three or four years. Two? It's only been two? I feel like it's been longer. Maybe, be, I think it's three. Mom's giving me, I think it's three. Anyway, Hudson is a phenomenal artist, very talented. So I'm just going to turn it over to Hudson, and I'm going to exit stage right. Hudson? Take it away. Can you hear? I'm going to start off with uh, Blackbird by the Beatles. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arrive Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You were only waiting for this moment to be free Blackbird Blackbird fly, blackbird fly Into the light of a dark black night Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these broken wings and learn to fly All your life You were only waiting for this moment to arrive Blackbird fly, blackbird fly Into the light of a dark black night All right, uh, this next one's a personal favorite of mine And you guys probably know it too It's uh, Free Fallen by Tom Petty She's a good girl, loves her mama, loves Jesus, and America too. She's a good girl, crazy about Elvis, loves horses, and her boyfriend too. And it's a long day living in Reseda 
There's a freeway running through the yard. And I'm a bad boy, cause I don't even miss her. I'm a bad boy for breaking her heart. And I'm free, free falling. Yeah, I'm free, free falling. And all the vampires walking through the valley. Move west down Ventura Boulevard And all the bad boys Hiding in the shadows And the good girls Home with broken hearts And I'm free Free falling Yeah, I'm free Glide down over my heart, and I want to write her name in the sky. Gonna free fall out into nothing. I'm gonna leave this world for a while, and I'm free. a band that many of you have probably heard of but haven't listened to. It's called Megadeth, and it's not a metal song. It's actually a really nice song that I like to play a lot. It's called Promises. Two hearts now talk to each other, become close in a town much like a prison cell. People speak our names on the street in hushed tones. Oh, the stories they tell, if anyone would listen. Anyone. You come from a town or where people don't bother saying hello unless somebody's born or died. I come from a town where they drag your heart through the mud because their own dreams are on dying. And when we walk down the street, the wind sings our names in rebel songs and the sounds of the night should make us anxious. And it's much too for the fear is gone away I will need you in the next life I promise you Where we can be together I promise you I will wait on man in heaven I promise you I promise, I promise so many fighting to get past the pearly gates but nobody ever wants to die or get saved their intentions are not good and I can smell the asphalt that's their own pearly 
personal road to hell me and Dave and when we walk down the street the wind sings our names and ramble songs and the sounds of the night should make us anxious it's much too late for the dream has gone away I will meet you in Next life, I promise you, where we can be together, I promise you, I will wait on that in heaven, I promise you, I promise, I promise. Thank you. This, uh, this is a song by a band called Pink Floyd. Wish you were here. Just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl Year after year Running over the same old ground Have we found the same old fears Wish you were here Thank you. This is uh, by a band called Led Zeppelin, going to California. Spend my days with a woman unkind. Smoked my stuff and drank all my wine. Made up my mind. Going to California with an aching in my heart Someone told me there's a girl out there With love in her eyes and flowers in her hair
jet plane Never let them tell you that they're all, all the same Started trembling, shake. Wondered that tomorrow could ever follow today. She was red and the sky was gray. Children of the sun began to awake. Thank you. So uh, this might not be a little conventional for the setup I have, but uh, it's my favorite band of all time, and I'm going to play it. This is uh, Seek and Destroy by Metallica. All night, Hudson. The reality is, I said to the students over here before you start to play, I said, You guys wait till you hear him play because he's awesome. And they were like, Yeah, we know, we heard him last night. I'm like, Nope, 
Last night he played Pantera. Tonight, just listen. And they're like, holy moly, that's amazing. So Hudson, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you been playing guitar? Um, are you self-taught? Have you gone to lessons? And give us a little insight as to uh, some of the things you enjoy to do in the, you know, relaxing, besides playing music. So I've been playing guitar for a good amount of years now. I don't really have a count. Um, it's a mix of being self-taught. I'm currently taking lessons over at Mojo's Music. Uh, they're really good there. Highly recommend it to anybody who wants to take guitar lessons. That's a great shout-out, Hudson. Well done. <laughs> um, I like playing guitar. I like playing all music. I have, like playing bass, drums, if you'll ever let me touch them. Anything else, really, I can goof around and make noises. Yep, that's awesome. And do you have a big, do you, a vinyl collection? Yes, I have a fairly large vinyl collection. Yes, I do recall that. And so do you have a, a super nice record player at home, like a, a giant I have my one dad's. So. You have your dad's? Yep. That must be ancient, then, if you have your dad's. Sorry, Mr. Yeah, McCaffrey. Yeah, I need to, like, dust out the electronics. <laughs> they were from, like, the 1800s or something. That's awesome. Hudson, great sense of humor. Tremendous, tremendous musician. I look forward to uh, having you back here again. I definitely love hearing you play but and, and watching you sing. You feel the music. You can see it as you're singing. So thank you very much for gracing us with your presence. We get at least two more years, if not making him come back when he's an alum. Um, but for now, we are going to cut over to our call center and take it away, our students. Hello, we have a busy time here at the call center. We have a lot of donations here right now, so I'm going to list some of them right now. I'm Carter, by the way. We have Bri Riley, Brian and Charlene Hammer from the class of nine, 1992 for $50. We have a $5 donation from James and Scarlett Sullivan. We have a $50 donation from Caitlin Duffy and Brayden, and she's a teacher at the Marsh Grammar School, which is very good. We have a $50 donation from Georgia Tuma. We have a $50 donation from Bill Abergine. We have another $50 donation from the family of Joanne Harkins. And we have another $50 donation from Roseanne Murphy Myers. We got a lot of $50 donations here. I'm going to give it to the call center. They have some donations here, too. Hi, I have just a few donations. I have one donation from Adam Chaka for $50 and one other donation for $50 from Jonathan Daly. Hi, we have a donation from Carmen Carroll and her family for $30. We have a donation from Heidi Perez for $50 and a donation from David LaCroix for $50. Hi, everybody. I have a, do a $50 donation from Michael Coyne. Um, I have a $50 donation from Katie Coyne, a $20 donation from Christine Gatales, and a $50 donation from Lisa Mosca. And now I'm going to hand the microphone over to Brooke. I have a couple donations over here. I have one from Michael Susie from the class of 2022 for $50, one from John Roosh for $50, and one from Kara LaCharity for $50. Thank you, guys. Hello, Chantel Martinez again, class of 2024. I have our first donation from Liz Bridge, $50. Cindy Bistany, $50. And Elijah Lilja, class of 2020. A hundred dollars. Woo! James Levesque again. Uh, I got a fifty dollar donation from Paul Zawadzki and a hundred dollar donation from Susan Norton. A fifty dollar donation from Michelle Capabianco. A fifty dollar donation from Andrea Muskies. And a $50 donation from Jeff Osgood. Thank you, guys, all for the donations. I'm going to send it back to Mr. Delano right now. All right. Hey, great job over there. Student run. Love it. It's, it's making our job a lot easier having parents here who are helping out uh, with the, uh, the phones and uh, the students who are getting the hang of it over there with the microphone. It's great. Uh, we do have a video coming up. Uh, auction video, I think, is uh, soon. But I definitely wanted to uh, just go over this list of desirable items. Uh, there are some items up on the auction block that uh, will run through 
uh, to April 1st, and I think we're going to generate a lot of money on donations here, right? Looking forward um, to it. Yeah, we're, we're looking at a Become Elite five-day community summer camp. Uh, MVC football clinic, Coach Ryan does a great job with the, uh, with the football clinic and the incoming uh, students, eighth right. and ninth graders. Uh, Boston Sports Legends Ultimate Mystery Box. Uh, we've got an autographed puck, Cam Neely. We've got hand-signed jerseys from Doug Flutie, Jerry Cheevers, Johnny Buchik, um, Kevin Euclid, Uke, hand-signed baseball the card. Uke. Uke. Um, uh, unfortunate news with Tim Wakefield, right? Very unfortunate news with Tim Wakefield. Rest in peace, Tim Wakefield. Uh, signed baseball card, right? Yep. Uh, Red Sox legend super mystery box there. Uh, huge item. Might get, a, uh, might get a bid from the Delano household. Uh, the Taylor Swift hand-signed guitar. You can um, have it. I, I might bid on that. <laughs> I might bid on that. Uh, romantic New England getaways. We've got two of those. Cozy getaways in the Vermont mountains. Uh, Seven-night getaway to Lake Winnipesaukee. Newfound Lake. The Berkshires, the, the, the destinations are incredible here. Five-night all-inclusive, Cancun, Caribbean, uh, Foursome to Myrtle Beach, award-winning Lakefront Inn escapes, a family vacation to Orlando. Like, some of this is crazy. These are um, awesome. I, I know we have a lot of teachers watching and parents, and there's a great opportunity right there to be able to go on a family vacation. Several different places that are amazing to travel to. Well, take a trip, feel good about it. Exactly. All the money's coming back to our exactly. students, right? Exactly. Uh, a couple camps run by coaches here. Exactly. Uh, over the summer, yep. we've got Beyond the Arc, uh, Anthony Faraday's camp. Boys right? basketball, boys basketball camp. Boys basketball, two enrollments yep. with that. Uh, Ryan Middlemas' Methuen Girls basketball camp, uh, two weeks on that. One, yep. Or I should say two separate weeks. Two separate weeks. Uh, Methuen Youth basketball, registration for next year. There's That's two awesome. registrations. There's two, right? Yep. yep, two registrations. Two passes to Plymouth. Patuxent Museum, Mallory Portraits. Uh, we've got Leith Karate Academy. We have uh, Buzz Durkins, Yukai Karate, uh, and a golf swing evaluation uh, at Golf Tech. So understanding swing and dynamics. I know Players Championship just ran. That. We've got <clears throat> Masters coming up, right? So uh, they, there's a lot of people that are that are starting to get out there and, yep. and golf leagues run. It was and on this weekend, so, I saw it. Yeah, yes. yeah. So, um, so. It, that's starting to kind of get a little... Swing. I'm not. Pardon I'm me, not uh, very good at swinging that. Talent, I swing so. the golf club the way I swung the field hockey stick, and that really doesn't work on the golf course. Kind of, kind of goes left and right. You got to be careful. Exactly. Um, yeah, but those desirable items. Um, Methuen Scholarship. Dot uh, org slash telethon yep. takes you right to the uh, the listing there. So uh, you see the bids and and you see the current bid, and you can outbid that. Uh, and if you outbid the Taylor Swift guitar, I'll just I'll outbid you again. We'll just we'll just keep jacking that thing up and and. Uh, that Taylor Swift guitar just might come home to the Delano house. I don't, don't know. know. Maybe Jason Kelsey will be know. voting, uh, bidding hey, on it. Maybe I might try to send him a Facebook we don't know. message. It's, Anybody? It's, it's me against Kelsey. In these, I don't know. These, I think you might these, lose. I, I would lose, <laughs> definitely. I uh, would but we, we definitely have a video coming up, right? We do. We have a video coming up um, just to share and show a few more of the auction items. So we're going to cut to that when we come back. We're going to do some interviewing of some of our seniors again um, as we head towards closing out. The out. evening. It's so crazy. It's gone by so fast. More call center, too. Uh, Way yeah, more call center. We're going to go back center. to the yep. call center. They're we not done. students eager to help. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll cut to a video. Excellent. Thank you. We'll be back.
Hey, we are back. And um, before we head over to the call center to see, I don't know if they have any more donations over there. I got to know. All right. So what we wanted to do was we had a couple more seniors joining us, and we wanted to make it a point to make sure that we, you know, snagged everybody and we talked to everybody. So we got Card Delano and uh, Chantel Martinez. I want would like for you guys to each tell everybody about yourself, clubs and organizations you're involved in here at the high school, and that includes if you've been involved in athletics, band, choir, um, where you've applied, where you've been accepted. I know you may not have heard from every school right now. That's okay. Talk a little bit about what you may want to pursue in college, if you definitely know, and uh, anything else you want to share. Ready? All right, Carter, you're up. Hello, guys. I'm Carter Delano. I'm a senior here at McEwen High School. I've been here for a while, and I'm, I think I'm in a lot of clubs and organizations. I am the president of the Science National Honor Society, president of the History Honor Society, treasurer of National Honor Society, and I'm in student council, and I'm also on, I was captain of the swim team, and now I'm also on the outdoor, and I was on the indoor track team. So I've been making the most out of my time here at Methuen High, but for the future, I haven't heard back from a lot of my colleges, but some of my hopefuls are Tufts University, Quinnipiac University, UMass Amherst, University of Connecticut, Dartmouth College, um, Mass College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences, and Boston University. Some of those I haven't heard back from. I've been accepted to a couple, but I don't really know right now. But in the future, I want to major in biology and then eventually make my way as a pharmaceutical scientist, which is like making like medicines and stuff. And that would be really good for, the, it takes a lot of schooling. So I'm really happy for the Methuen Scholarship Foundation because they're able to give a lot of scholarships because I'll need it because I'll be in school for a pretty long time. Okay, so now I'm gonna hand it off to Chantel. Hi, my name is Chantel Martinez and I am a senior at MHS. I'm in National Honor Society, I'm vice president and I run three seasons. So I was captain of cross country, captain of, in, um, captain of indoor, yeah, and outdoor track. Um, so I do a lot around the school um, a lot of volunteer work um, in and out of the school. And hearing back from colleges, I've heard back from a couple. My top, I like to say my top safety right now is Northeastern. I got into Northeastern in January. And um, I'm still hearing back from my top schools. So I need to hear back from them first and then I'll decide later on. I am deciding to major in biology and minor in English. And I don't know, I feel like I'm, from both sides of the brain. I really like science, but I'm also so into like literature and English. So I decided to major in bio and minor in English. And I love the Methuen Scholarship Foundation because they're giving us so much opportunities to receive money that we're gonna need. I mean, going into med school, medical school is so expensive. And I think with the help of this school, it's incredible. Thank you so much. So I know in the last couple of days, <clears throat> Sorry, between today and yesterday, we have, in, you know, we have introduced you to several of our seniors. We have 470-something seniors. You have seen a small per percentage of those seniors. You have had in front of you student athletes. You have had students who are in choir, in band. Um, they're performers. They're athletes. But really, they're just all around great kids who are actively involved here at Methuen High School. They have taken full advantage of everything there is offered to them here at the high school. I, I can't begin to describe the opportunities that exist here at Methuen High for students. And it's kids like this that we know are really the future. And uh, I hate to throw the gauntlet at you, but you guys are the class of 2024. So I expect, you know, five years from now, y'all gonna be back here and you're gonna be at that table over there, but you're gonna be throwing it at your friends who graduated with you. You're gonna be doing everything that you just did for us tonight, and the payback will be coming. You know, you are kids who are believe in that cycle and believe in giving back. And so we appreciate that, and I can't wait to see all of you continue to thrive and grow in college and in life. Just all around great kids. You got a couple months left of school, and I want you to live it loud, live it proud, and honestly, I want you to enjoy yourself because, you know, there are several songs, but these are really the moments. You know, these are the moments you live for, and, um, Great and there's nothing better. Great so, talk. Mr. D. So, uh, in, in that, that last flurry, we had a bunch of, uh, like, 
this, uh, pledges coming in. So if uh, if T, she's going to hold the mic for me. I'm just going to rip through a bunch of these Excellent. and just read Go off some it. names. Uh, so Tara Livingston, class of 95. Uh, Pauline LaFontaine, Lori Palermo, uh, Troy and Melanie Medeiros, Fireside Restaurant in Methuen for $100. That one was great. Eddie Guy, uh, looks like Susie LaFontaine, Stacy Murray, Jack Mullen, Kate Neal. Thank you for helping out on the phones. Uh, Jennifer Barbaro, uh, Ali McCormick. Thank you for helping out on the phones. John Drew and family. Uh, looks like Dottie Hudson, Patrick Hudson. That, that happened in like what? Eight minutes. That's we, awesome. We cut from video and came back, and somebody just handed me all these. Uh, I know last night we raised a little over fifty-six hundred. Yep. Is that that was the number? Uh, we talked to Lisa. Lisa was around there rounding up pledges, sponsorships. She was uh, she was just kind of calculating everything that come in tonight. I know, and last night. Uh, auction still goes till April 1st. April 1st. Though. We got so two we, more we weeks. So a, this number is chance, not the final number. We still get a chance to build. Uh, and as we come to the end here, when we when we get to our final reveal, uh, we do have to kind of understand that it, it takes a village. I mean, it when does. you really think it about does. it, it's the community, everybody coming together, these guys on stage, people who were helping out last night, uh, Mr. Wilkins, ev everybody, the students who were running cameras and audio yep. cuts back and forth. Uh, all of the Methuen Scholarship Foundation members, Lisa especially, Mr. Barden coming on stage earlier, Dr. Kwong last night. It's the, the teachers and, and family and, and community that's donated. It's, we just can't thank everybody enough for helping out. And Methuen, right? is, Methuen is a really special community, and you always step up when it comes to the kids. At the end of the day, that's what matters most. You're always stepping up when it comes to the kids. So with that... We have a reveal. Are we ready? A reveal? You want to say it? Go for it, Mr. D. I got the tape. I'll spin it. So as of right now, wow. I think we've already eclipsed last year. We're going to eclipse we're last year without question. We're, we're, we're right eclipsing on it. last year without we're question. We're right on it. Uh, the number that we were handed on a piece of paper by Lisa. Are you ready? $45,000. Woohoo! $45,000. What do you guys say? That's our number. Incredible. Incredible. And and everybody that came together to do that, it's it's just a testament to, to yep. how we want to get back to everybody. It is. And so with that, um, from our hearts to yours, from the kids here at Methuen High School, we say thank you very much. Have a fabulous evening. Methuen Scholarship Foundation Telethon. We're out, Mr. We're out. G. Next year. Next year. We're back. Thank you again. Great job, guys.